Hey everybody, I'm Doug and this is... I'm Michael. And we are in beautiful downtown Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Don't you love Fort Lauderdale? I do, it's it, a great place. It's the yachting capital of the world. And speaking of yachts, I've got a problem. And okay. that's why we're here at Marine Data Solutions Tech Center, which is, it, this place is crazy. I mean, this is, this is really nice. I need internet. And, oh. and I, I, I'm, I'm being serious now. Okay, I don't have the sky thing or whatever, and, and I'm here to learn. So can you please explain Skylink to me? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna explain it to you. It's and called, it's called Starlink. It's called Starlink. Starlink. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. It's called Starlink. That, that's how little I know. It, okay. Go ahead. Uh, it's a new constellation of low Earth orbit satellites, mm -hmm. and what it does is give you really fast internet with a very small amount of latency, and it is the next step in better, faster, cheaper electronics. Okay, what's latency? Okay, latency is the amount of time between when you press enter and something actually happens on the screen. Oh, okay, I get it, I hate that. Yeah, so the, you know, the signal's gotta go out to whatever the website is and then come back and do something on your screen. The old VSATs, the latency was over half a second. Now it's the same as cellular, it's the same as your phone, it's VSAT, fantastic. You go get a cup of coffee and then you yes. come back. Yes. Now I see a lot of these guys with these antennas are about this big, and and they have a lot of complaints about it. The, we're talking about the old VSATs. No, no, the the Starlink. Oh, the small ones. The yes. Small. Yes. What the do you small. recommend? Well, funny you should ask, because I have this. This is the new Starlink high performance flat panel antenna, and this is the one that you want to put on a yacht. You don't want to put the small RV version on. Uh, this one has a much wider viewing angle, and it can see more satellites simultaneously, which means it drops out less often. That's the one I want? Yes, this is the one you want. How much is that? Uh, this antenna is about $2,500, and then the airtime goes anywhere from uh, 150 to 6,000, depending on how many gigs you want every month. Okay, now I understand from what you just said that you know, low earth or, and, and there's dropouts, we all heard of that. So how do we fix that problem? I can't have dropouts. Right, okay, so what happened, when you do get a dropout, if you're on a remote desktop, it logs you out. If you're on a video call, it drops the video call. And this is bad. Very annoying, I, I, a lot of our clients were really having a hard time with that, and that's why we developed the MDS Blender. And what the MDS Blender does is it takes either multiple Starlinks, mm -hmm. or it can take Starlink and 5G, and it bonds them so they're going faster than they would by themselves. But also, the most important thing is that it has uh, instant failover, which means when that Starlink goes out, right. and it does about four times an hour, when that happens, this MDS blender is gonna switch over to the 5G or to the other Starlink or... What, what do I have to do when that happens? You don't have to do anything. It's all automatic. Are you kidding? Yeah, you, you don't even know what's going on. I'm you, not going to get a phone call from the owner going, I just lost my Zoom call, Captain. Nothing? No, there's no more of that. Fully automatic. Fully automatic. And if you really want to see what's happening, we have an app. And in the app, it'll give you system status. It'll tell you what's going on, when the dropouts were, what's happening, what's what's handling more of the load, the Starlink or the 5G. Now, now the Exuma is, I'm always having problems. And I know you take this seriously. All right, so you just spent 10 days in the Exumas. Yes. Can you please tell everybody what the report is on that? It, 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 the, we had one Starlink high performance flat panel right. and we had one 5G PEP wave okay. with a BTC SIM card and we had our MDS blender. Right. We didn't lose the internet once for 10 days. How many people did you have on board? There was eight guests and seven crew. Seven crew, and yes. the crew, by the way, are gonna be on the internet all the time. Yes. But, you know, my boss is on the internet. You know, they, she does Zoom calls and stuff. Uh, so, and, and how was the performance? It was, it was fantastic. It was, in my opinion, better than what I have at home. Could you, could you stream movies? Yeah, yeah, streaming's the easy part. The hard part really? is the remote desktops, uh -huh. and the hard part is the uh, video conferencing. And you had no problems? No problems. And let me tell you one other thing that was really fantastic that I keep forgetting is that our servers are in the US. So all of the traffic is routed through our servers in the US. So when you're on Netflix, Pandora, Hulu, all of those uh, streaming services lose their mind if you're out of the country right. and it doesn't work. So everybody expects their apps to work like they work at home. And with the blender, you get that. You get it. Right, without the blender, a lot of times the, the termination point of the Starlink and the 5G is out of the country, and Netflix says, no, we're not giving it to you. So, let's just say I want to go to the Mediterranean. Do I, do I have internet? Yes, you will have internet. It works. Caribbean. 
Perfectly, perfectly. Bahamas. Yes. West Coast. Yes. East Coast. Yes. Up in Maine. Up in Maine. Because nobody has internet in Maine. Everywhere. We even had people happy in Sag Harbor this year. If I am, wow, that's that's, <laughs> that's that's a new one. That's saying a lot. Well, I'm 500 miles offshore on my way transatlantic because I'm going to the Med. Yes. Am I going to be able to? You are going to be able to have Starlink. Right. Unfortunately, you won't have the 5G. So you, while you're in the middle of the ocean, you might let experience me, those cutouts. Let me explain <laughs> something. Uh, usually when you're out in the middle of the ocean, it's like you have a, you're, you're off more than you're on. Yeah. I, I can deal with a drop here or there and then just, okay, hit the button yeah. again. You, you're going to have four, four cutouts an hour minimum. But other than that, you, you're going to have the whole way. No problem. Okay. Last question. I'm sorry, but crew are insane. They're nuts. Do I have any way to control these guys? Because you, you turn the internet loose on crew and they're going to be in the bosun's locker. You know, I mean, can I control that? Well, actually with the MDS Blender, you can. You are able with the software to go in and select specific devices that are on your network <laughs> and either slow them down sold, or turn them sold, off. Sold, sold, We all know, see, in the old days, I would have to run around, look at an IP address, and then wait for a crew member to go, hey, Cap, the internet's not working. You know why it's not working? Because you decided to download a two gig update that cost 500 bucks, so I can just shut that down. Yes, you can shut it off completely. Like, like you can say, I'm turning off iCloud. So I, I think that uh, my opinion is that this system is finally out of its infancy and it's now in the more mainstream and it's, it's able to perform for a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar a week charter and, and be able to deliver. Oh yeah, right. without a doubt. With, and, with the Blender and the Starlink and the 5G, you are able to give a seamless and how, enterprise grade experience. How many days do you need? A boat pulls in, says I want this. Yeah. How much time do you need, like three weeks? Uh, no, uh, we could probably get the system installed, like a lot of boats already have the pep waves, so we don't have to do anything there, but usually the Starlink is a day or two, oh. the Blender is hours, and it's a little bit of programming and you're, you're on your way. I'm sold, dude. I, I really am. And now I have to figure out what to do with the domes. I think I can make storage lockers. Yeah. I put the fenders in the domes or something. Yes. I, I don't know. Yes. I mean, you know, just dummy domes. I, I think, I, actually, I think domes are going to be a thing of the past. I agree with you. They, they certainly are. A lot of the boats that we're, we're specking for new builds, there are no domes. Hey, last question. Can I talk over this? Yes, you can. You well, can use WhatsApp or cellular or whatever. All right. OK, guys, I'm, I'm sold. I, I don't know. If you're in Fall Order or anywhere, you probably go, you travel, don't you? You're oh, coming. yeah. Yeah, I, I think this is what everybody needs. I yeah, mean, I, I, especially if you're chartering. If you're chartering when you have a lot of people with high expectations, that's, you need this that's level the of thing. service. That's the thing. The, 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 the owners and the charter guests expect this. Yes. They walk off the boat. The first thing anybody ever asks when they come on board is not where the life jackets are, where my bed, what's the Wi-Fi password? That's I'm it. not kidding. That's it. It's, it's, that's it. So this is the solution. All right. Uh, I hope we do this again. All right, Doug. Thank you. Okay.